Hey everyone, so it's the Monday girl. Um, my name is Lynn and I'm so excited to be able to be part of this um, channel, um, Six Sense Horses. I'm just so excited and I'm so grateful to Kylie and Karma for this opportunity. I really think this is really important because I see so much like of beauty and comedy and stuff and I never see like a question and that's like what means a lot to me. So I'm really thankful for this opportunity. So uh, I'm, I want to apologize so bad because it's like 6.50 right now. No, 9.50. Okay, I'm still on the wrong time zone because we were on vacation and stuff like that, so I'm kind of out of it. Anyways, um, I'm having problems uploading stuff on my camera. I don't know why, but I understand you now, Kylie. I understand why you can't upload. I can't upload either. So I just had to go onto my Mac and do this little webcam video because I'm like, you know, if I tell someone I'm going to be uploading videos on Monday, I want to keep that promise. That is just kind of my personality. Like, if I say I'm going to do something, I have to. So even though it's like almost 10 o'clock on Monday, I'm making this video for you guys. So you can count on me to make videos on Monday. And I will try my best. So anyways, this is kind of unofficial. Next week I will have the official when I went to the barn. I like went to the barn and planned this whole thing out. It was so awesome. And yeah, it's a downer. I know. So anyways, I'll just kind of explain like a little thing about me, I guess. Because I can't um, really do that without everything else. And I think I'll show you one picture too. So basically... I am 14, my name is Lynn, and my regular channel is Juicy Star, not Juicy Star, <laughs> Arabian Star 07. I got a comment saying that my channel was like Juicy Star 07. I don't even know who that is, but so that's why I almost said that. Anyways, Arabian Star 07. And I have two horses. Um, well, my sister and I each have a horse, but we say if someone asks us, we say we have two horses. So um, my, my horse is an Arabian full um, pre-bred, and he's related to this famous Arab, I forget the name, anyways, he is a gelding, he's about 15, 14 and a half hands, um, his name, his, like, show name is Surprise Symphony, because I got him for Christmas, and he, to this day, is 11, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> I think he's 11 and 12 somewhere around there. And then my sister's horse is named um, Wild Diva, that's her registered name, but my sister thought that was too prissy because she's not into anything like that. So she named it Bella, which is so cute, and that's, and her horse is kind of a smaller horse, but it's an American paint. And I will have a picture of that on next week's video. I feel so bad. Oh, I was looking forward to this so much, and then, yeah, of course. Like t technology is a good thing and it hinders you too. So, um, anyway, so I, basically I'll just tell you a little bit about how I got into horses. So, it was about when I was seven or eight, I started taking English writing lessons and I started jumping when I was eight. And I, like jumping like two feet. And I don't say that to brag, like whatever I say I'm not to brag, it is just like this natural thing in me that I was just being able to progress so easily and um, I don't know, that I thought was so much fun. So anyways, and then we moved and so I started just helping out at this one farm and I didn't have my horse at that, my own horse at that time. And I was about nine, yeah, nine. And I would just ride and I was galloping, like flat out gallop at age nine with my sister. We were like totally afraid of nothing. And I would, I was start, I tried, started training her horses at age nine and a half. Like this, I was training this horse how to jump and I was lunging at age nine. And I was just, and I gave my first riding lesson when I was 10. Yeah, 10. Wow. Anyways, so I was teaching someone who was older than me, yeah, how to ride horses, and that was very cool. So I've taught three, four, five, six, seven, eight people how to ride a horse, and not just like, okay, you just like hold the reins like this, it depends how you're riding. So if you're a Western, you know you just neck rein, or you know, little ice cream cones for English, no, not like that, like actual... You know, this is how you actually sit for a cancer, you know, stuff like that. So that was very exciting for me. And then I got my first horse. And that was back four years ago, five years ago. Anyways, I got him. Wait, 
No. Yeah, four years ago. Because I got him when he was nine. I think he must be 12 now. Oh, he's getting old. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, he was totally green. And I was about 10 when I got him. I mean, normally, you don't give a beginner rider. I wouldn't really call myself a beginner. But anyways, you know, like a nine-year-old, a full-bred Arabian. I mean, I know when people say, oh, you have an Arabian? Oh, what an awful horse. I hate it when people say that. And I hope some of you guys can relate to me. Because Arabians are my favorite breed. I do not think they're awful. But, you know, some people who don't know about horses think that way. And everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So, I had, yeah, I had an Arabian. When I, and I had to train him. He was totally green. And everything was from scratch. And I had to just train him by myself. And that worked out pretty well. And then I got a trainer and we started to go into the hunter, hunter jumper. And that was so much fun. And I'm working on that right now. But I have gotten this western like spurt right now. And I'm like trying to do this barrel racing. And I don't think it's really working out for me. Because I think I'm more the English girl. But I do love western. So I'm going to pursue it. I like to do things. So anyways. Um... And to this day, he's just like the best Arabian I've ever known. I wouldn't consider him bomb-proof, but he's a, definitely a dream. And then last year, my sister had an Arabian of her own named Snowflake. And it died. And that was like the saddest thing I think I've probably ever experienced, is having a pet die. And when, you, when like a dog dies, it's like, okay, I miss it so bad. But it's not as... I don't know, to me, it doesn't mean as much as to something you can ride and have like this relationship with. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, dog lovers out there. I know how you feel, but to me, the, the relationship be between a human and a horse is different, if you can relate to that. So, that was really sad. And then, so she got Bella, and Bella is definitely her personality, and it's so sweet, and we just love her. And I'm so happy with her. So right now, um, I will follow up this video with next week, so you can look forward to that. But I just wanted to make sure that I would keep my promise, so. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.